I usually don't do this on the valves, but I'm going to show you what the compound is doing as well as tell you. What we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle a little bit of black lacquer, just a little tiny bit, just like little tiny bits of black lacquer around the, the valve seat. I'm also going to put it around the top of the valve. Now this won't hurt a thing, but what it will do is that when after I put on the coarse polish right here and I start to move the valve around right here whoops you didn't see that I'm gonna move the valve around like this right here okay just I don't know three four five six times whatever I'll pull the valve back out and I'll clean it here and remember I've got this black speckle stuff around here you can just say it's like black well I'll, look, I'll show you what I can use you want to use lacquer because lacquer lacquer uh, let's see if I can get that off maybe oh look at that so I shake it up a little bit and matter of fact we can do we can do this right now now this doesn't hurt anything if you if you just do it little by little and it's got a little nail polish tip on it and it's kind of a neat green I like to use a contrasting color and black's always good or you can use red now this is um a lot of mechanics won't do this, but I'm doing this to show all the students and everything how it works. I know I'm rambling, but fuck it, I ain't getting no younger. So we take the blocking color and we put it around the valve. Just, just the valve seat. Just where this part of the valve, right here, it's kind of a neat color. I might, you might just leave that on there. And this is this is lacquer. It dry it air dries very quickly. And this is not hurting a thing. Actually, this is probably too much lacquer on there, but that's no problem. That's no problem because I'll let this sit overnight. And most of the. Uh, the seating area and everything. This hasn't been really cleaned up, so it's got a, kind of a light coat of oil on it. Now these two places here are where the valve seat and the valve itself are going to be touching. Now how do we know that the valve is sealing correctly? Now there's a couple ways we can do that. This is a visual way. Once I take the polish and I put it on here and I put it in here and I run it around a two, three, four, five times or how many times I want, I'll pull the valve back out, clean it, and any green spots that are still on here, that means that the valve is not hitting or sealing because it has to seal just on the nuts, right? Just bitch tight, right there. Sorry about my uh, French. Now, put that down there. We'll take out the, uh, I should have took this out, but like I said, it's late. Saturday night. That's one nice thing about being old, you know, in your 50s. You don't go out partying that much because there's not a whole lot of really good looking 54 year old babes waiting out there. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're married. Of course, I know one. I know one, but that's a that's a whole different story. So I'm taking my polish here. I've got my right hand, and on this um, exhaust valve, I've noticed it's not as shiny. And I've this this is the, this is the valve seat. It's not as shiny, and it appears you can see where. Oh, sorry about that. Um. On the this valve or the seating area, it shouldn't be totally beautifully clean like the intake, because on the intake you're only go getting gas and oil or just gas through it, so it should be pretty clean. On your exhaust, it sh you have exhaust going past the valve on 
let's see, on uh, through here, it's being sucked from the cylinder right here into the exhaust valve. And of course it gets around, but it should be it shouldn't be oily like that. It should be sooty, maybe a little bit sooty, but there shouldn't be any oil. Oh hell, I didn't get that good enough today. Christ. That's fine. Uh, okay. Next video. I just love making these videos. I mean, I'm not really good at it. It's all on the fly. I never edit them. But I'm I hope that someone can learn from these. Because uh, I really enjoy making them. I just love them. Love making them.